there is correlation between supporting this group and electoral results in a way that you don't see with health care. Right? I mean, these are, this is the demographic that votes. It's a demographic that Bush won 40% uh, in 2004. Uh, John McCain only got 28% in 2000, uh, 2008. Carl Rove himself, George Bush's uh, mastermind, understands uh, that the long-term health of the Republican Party is in jeopardy if they cannot appeal to, uh, to immigrant groups. And, uh, and one of the things that, that I think people find surprising is that when you look at immigrant groups, those who are first generation, people who immigrated, were actually more likely to vote Republican in, in 2004 than second generation, third generation, right? And I have a theory about this. I don't know if it's true. But when you give the immigration oath, you know, you've got the picture of the president right in front of you, right? And you're basically swearing allegiance to this country. And you, got George, you had George Bush there. And I think that from an emotional standpoint, you think that's a guy who's giving me the opportunity to be an American, and that's powerful, right? So now suddenly you have a, um, a situation where it's, you know, it's going to be Obama, right? Which is going to be great for us. Republicans may not like it, but if there's a, if there's a sense that Republicans are completely 100% opposed to this, uh, they're going to suffer more uh, in ways that it's going to be an electoral disaster for them. I mean, one more data point. I track a daily, uh, daily coast. I have a nonpartisan pollster, Research 2000. Every week we track approval ratings of the entire political party leadership from Obama, Pelosi, John Boehner, Mitch McConnell, the Republican Party, the Democratic Party. And in uh, at the beginning of the year, if you looked at the favorabilities among Latinos, and this is a massive 2,400 uh, respondents every week, so the, the Latino subsample is actually statistically valid. Uh, at the beginning of the year, it was about 2009, I'm sorry, yeah. Republican Party had about a 29 to 30% approval rating, favorability rating amongst Latinos, right? In August of 2009, which is during the Sotomayor debate, it was 2% had a favorable opinion of the Republican Party, 86% unfavorable. Today, it's back up to about 18% favorable and about 62% unfavorable. So sort of the shock of the Sotomayor hearings is sort of worn off and Latinos are creeping up. They do this again. It's sort of like a double blow, right? You know, you got some Latinos who are like, well, maybe we'll give them a second chance, right? If they come out of this debate angry and, and xenophobic and racist and hateful, those numbers may come down and they may stay down. And like I said, the demographic trends are very clear. If Republicans lose Latinos, it's going to be very hard for them to win. 2010, tough year for Democrats, but moving forward long term to mid and long term, it's almost impossible for them to be electorally viable without a significant support from Latinos.